we have Kawhi Leonard's signature sneaker with New Balance. It's simply called the New Balance Kawhi Signature Sneaker. Nothing more, nothing less. This is the Four Bounces colorway. There are secret messages on this, okay? And we're gonna cover that. We're also gonna talk about the details that matter. If you're interested in that, I'm ready. If you're ready, let's do it. What's up, how's it going? My name is Sean, thanks for being here. Kawhi Leonard, man. Everybody thinks that this is the second signature sneaker, but this is actually the first. He did wear the Omnis, yes, but that's uh, more like a uh, team sneaker. He made the Omnis famous, but uh, a few other athletes wore the Omnis as well, and uh, the Omnis did not bear his name. And this is his signature sneaker, simply called the Kawhi Signature. Let's start with the box, okay? We have this simple, elegant looking box. You have that in white, predominantly. Your NB logo is right there at the center with Kawhi Leonard's signature done in gold right over the NB logo, okay? NB basketball here on the side. You have your sneaker information here on the other side. And there's one cool detail here in the front and actually all over the box which goes around. If you can see this. You'll notice a squiggly pattern right there in front. There's a text, by the way, that goes, game speaks for itself. As you know, Kawhi is a man of few words. He doesn't talk a lot. Uh, but I'd like you to focus on the squiggly pattern. Okay, that goes around the box. You might need good lighting if you want to spot it. Uh, but these are earthquake maps. You know, there's some kind of uh, uh, seismology imagery, and I'm going to explain that to you in more detail later on because you're going to see the same pattern on the sneaker. Let us open up the treasure chest, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't a true unboxing, by the way. I sort of unboxed the sneaker already. Uh, if you haven't seen my video, I'm going to put the link at the description. I'm going to put it at the end screen. I unboxed the sneaker and did my first impressions. Okay, and I did it with a buddy, Mark Chess. He also has kind of the same video, so go visit his channel if you wanna, if, if you wanna see uh, the, the release day sort of vlog and first impressions video, okay? Uh, first thing you'll notice on the inside flap is New Balance Kawhi Signature, okay? Simple name. Tissue paper that has Kawhi on it. And here is the pair. Let me just take both sneakers out. These are so pretty, by the way. And uh, if uh, you don't know already, this is called the, the Kawhi Four Bounces colorway in honor of uh, the, the two-way colorway, <laughs> two-way Omnis colorway sneaker that he wore against the Philadelphia 76ers where he knocked down the game winner, game seven, and it took four bounces before the ball went in the hoop. That was the game winner, and he wore an Omnis that has a similar colorway, okay? Now on to the sneaker. I did tell you that these sneakers have some really cool imagery and symbology, and there's hidden messages, and there's not so subtle, very obvious messaging here. Uh, let's start with Kawhi Leonard's jersey number right at the base of the toe you're gonna see number two, right? Obviously that's his jersey number. You go up a little bit, look at the tongue here. You have the K box logo with the number two at the upper right corner. It's just simply Kawhi, K for Kawhi. And two, his jersey number, right? Done in gold. Go to the back, right there, that's Kawhi Leonard's signature. So that's pretty straightforward. Jersey number, Kawhi, box number two logo and Kawhi's signature. Next up, let's focus on the tongue because there's text here, which is pretty straightforward, okay? Four-time All-Star, two-time champion, two-time finals MVP, two-time defensive player of the year. So these are Kawhi Leonard's accolades right there on the tongue. Pretty straightforward. Next, I'm gonna show you the insole. It is detachable and it's not held down by some annoying adhesive, all right? Uh, we have the same detail here on the insole. 
uh, New Balance Kawaii signature and his actual signature. That's the same thing found on the under flap of the box, okay? One of my favorite features of the Kawaii 4 bounces is the lizard pattern, okay? And you'll find that at the toe, right there in front. Absolutely love that. You'll also find the same thing at the collar. That's lizard leather right there. It gives the sneaker some kind of a luxe touch. Let's now go to the back and let me show you my second favorite feature of the sneaker, and that's the heel cup. Okay, I absolutely love this feature. I love how uh, the, the NB logo is kind of 3D. I love how it pops. I love how it protrudes. It's got that 90s vibe, right? And uh, it's a huge heel cup. It made the sneaker a little heavier than the Omnis, but it's a great aesthetic. So we're now gonna cover the more personal parts of the sneaker. We're gonna cover the very kawaii elements of the four bounces. We're gonna start with a side panel here. Take a look at that lateral side and the medial side. You have these squiggly lines right there, okay? I showed you the box in the beginning of the video and I did tell you these are earthquake maps. There's some kind of seismology imagery, okay? And these are here. That's the same thing, by the way, on the outsole, right? So the traction pattern of the sneaker is an earthquake map. So you have that here, here, and underneath. Why earthquake map? It is said that when Kawhi signed with the Los Angeles Clippers, there was an earthquake. Another component of the sneaker that has some kind of a secret message would be this extension here on the collar accent. If you take a closer look, those look like cornrows because yes, these represent cornrows and you know, the hairdo of choice of Kawhi Leonard, cornrows. Now I'd like to bring your attention to the top eyelets. Let's take a look at that. These are done in the shape of the taillights of a Chevy Impala. Yes, Kawhi Leonard's favorite car is the Chevy Impala. He drives a Chevy Impala and I'm sure he's got a dozen other cars, or doesn't he? We have another Impala inspired feature here on the sneaker and you'll find that here on the inside part of the collar. This is kind of like the ankle pillow. See that stitching right here? See that quilting? That's made to look like the seats on the Chevy Impala. Isn't that cool? And we're down to the final hidden message of Kawhi's signature sneaker. Well, I think it's the final one if you do know of more hidden messages, which I haven't covered by the end of the video. Let me know in the comments, let's talk about it. But this is the final hidden message as far as I know. Take a look at the heel. So uh, you have a translucent outsole, right? Uh, but by uh, the, the center right here of the heel is an outsole extension. And that has the letter M. Okay. Now it may look like it's just an extension of the herringbone pattern because uh, it's an earthquake map underneath, but uh, it's kind of like herringbone on the outer edges. And this simply looks like an extension, but the letter M here means something. It stands for Moreno Valley, California, and that's where Kawhi grew up. And if you look really closely, right, if you hold it up against some good lighting, you'll find the coordinates for that area. And there you have it. I think we've covered every key feature. We've covered every secret message. And as I said, if you do know of more secret messages, let me know. A few more things we have to cover here. Of course, the sneaker sits on fuel cell. That's New Balance's proprietary foam technology. You have the stability shank underneath as well. You see that, that's gold. That's black right here. What else? That's about it. Fuse material, engineered mesh, gold blue and black lovely sneaker okay these shoes generally run true to size i'm a natural size 10 this is a size 10 this fits me nicely but the best way to go about buying sneakers of course is to try them on okay good luck finding a pair if you're from the philippines because what i understand from the new balance guys is that they're already sold out okay they're a little narrow but they have toe space you know it's got 
toe box height. So uh, it might be tricky. You might want to double up on socks if you intend to play in these sneakers, okay? These go for 8,500 pesos. Good luck finding your pair. What do you think of the sneaker? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation. As always, you guys be safe. I'll see you next time.